the wheelchair theory. This is going to change your life. Just the other day, I met a young gentleman that was sitting in a wheelchair. After a while, we start talking and he told me how his story, how he got into a wheelchair. And the story went something like this. He took a girl to a walk on the park. Two gentlemen came to rob him and he, and he jumped up to protect his woman and the guy shot him in his back, which basically disabled his legs. He survived, but since 15 years old, he's like 35 now, he's been disabled. So I started talking to him a little bit more. I said, what, what made you get up and become a lion and attack the guy that had a gun at, at you? He said, well, I was defending my girl. That was the most important thing to me, that I wanted to defend her. And I said, oh, I gotcha. And I said, hey, are you guys still together? And he said, no, they're not together anymore. Um, she left them basically like a month later because she couldn't stand that he was in a wheelchair. After he's the one that jumped up and defended her from these two predators. And this is where I got the wheelchair theory. Because a lot of the men out here are doing what men do. What men do are they provide for their families, they protect their families. But a lot of women out here, they're not, they're screwed up in the head. Excuse my language. They don't appreciate the things men do, right? Like one of the things that men do, like my boy in the wheelchair, is to defend his woman against a, two guys with guns in their hands. He stood up attacked them, even they had a gun pointing to his head and his girl's head to protect her. But in return, his girl did not reciprocate that type of behavior and stick with him. Even a year later, she dumped him one month later, even though he stepped up and tried to protect her. So the theory is that in America, women are not willing to do what women should be doing, right? We should be submissive. We should be nourishing, should be a protector of emotional and a lot of different stuff that women do. Protect the kids by nourishing them, protect the house by cleaning the house, by cooking. All the stuff that feminine in America made women into men. Today, women think they're men, right? But when a situation happens, when they have to defend for their life, they're not going to be men. They're going to be women, just like in the situation with the, my, my, my boy with the wheelchair. And the men are the gonna ones that are going to stand up and take the bullet. And my recommendation for you, ladies and gentlemen, or actually for the gentlemen is, in America, you can't be a man for women because women are shady. They're not respectful. They don't appreciate men. They think they're the men just because they could make a living, right? And if you stand up and help them, they'll bail out on you, dude. Not only in my own personal life, I've experienced in my friend's life, I've even experienced this on total strangers, a guy in a wheelchair and his story. So I came to a conclusion that women in America are like men, right? They're like men that have no value of what a woman should do. They are willing to fight with you. They're willing to argue with you. They're willing to stress you out. And they don't understand their positioning in life the hierarchy of nature, that what a woman is and what a man is. And so are all the men, you know, they could be an exception where your women could be different. But from my experience of 45 years old, I came to a conclusion that in America, it's extremely, extremely hard to find a woman that's actually a woman psychologically. Because most women or think they're men, they're feminine, and they act like men to the shit hits the ground and then they're going to want to be women and if you stand up for them and something happens to you they're going to bounce off and go remarry someone else they're going to bounce off and go hop on the other guy's dick and that's just the reality of america ladies and gentlemen i can't tell you how many people i know that maybe their husband's passed away he worked his butt off and the woman a year later with two kids is getting remarried right and so we live in a world where men are in America especially, not in the Middle East or anything, but in America, men are supposed to be men, and a lot of men are men. They take care of their family, they protect them, but the women are not doing their job, which is being a real woman, taking care of your man, cleaning your house, standing behind him, be submissive. If the man says go right, you say yes, sir, even if you want to go left, because you understand there's a hierarchy of nature, okay? Just like if a guy pops up with a gun in his hand, 
and he wants to take my family out, I don't expect my woman to get up and do anything, okay? It's my job. So in that sense, when I say take a right, the woman should take a right, even if she wants to go left because she's in a relationship with me and she has to be submissive. And this is the rule of nature. If you go to China, it's the same thing. If you go to India, it's the same thing. If you go to Middle East, it's the same thing. Only places not is America and the Western countries where the women are trying to wear the pants and they think they're the alpha. Only when shit goes down that they realize they're not and they have no royalty to you because they've been brainwashed to think they're the men, right? But they're not the men. They don't have the testosterone to be the men. They're, in, in a sense, they have estrogens. And estrogens, the hormones does different things than testosterone. Testosterone is for males, for muscles. Estrogen is not the same thing as testosterone. So no matter how you break it, biologically, if you break it from psychologically, if you break it down from any dimension, there is a role that a woman has to play and there's a role that men have to play. And in today's world in America, you got men that are fucking women and you have women that are fucking male and you have a massive confusion in the middle. And that's why the divorce rate is so high because women think they're men and the men are just allowing their women to, to just rule their lives, tell them what to do, how to do it. And I can tell you guys from meeting multiple people like my man in the wheelchair, it's not worth it to be a man for a woman that disrespects you in any shape or fashion because the, the bitch will leave you. And I can tell you, the guy that took a bullet for his girl, his girl's not there anymore. And, you know, I don't, I, I didn't want to ask him, would you go back and do that again? Because that's a tough question, right? Uh, now that you know the history, would he go and step up for that girl, you know, when the, when the armed robbers were trying to steal his girl's jewelry. Would he would have stepped up with that, knowing what he knows today, that that bitch will leave his ass in one month after he took a bullet for her. And that's the reality of America, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, women got no respect. They've trained to be, and it's not their fault. It's the propaganda from the schools. It's the marketing. They, they think they're the, you know, they think that they're God's gift to, to the world to be a woman, you know? Um, because they have a vagina, dude. You know what I mean? And in reality, it takes both individuals to make anything. The woman has 50% power. The man has 50% power. But the man's power is different than the woman's power. And we have to recognize we both have power, but the powers are in different areas of life. And we need to not cross over each other's power, not disrespect each other's power and work like flashlight and battery versus both of us trying to be dicks. You know what I mean? Both of us trying to be alpha male when one of them is, has estrogens and the other one has testosterone. It just doesn't go together, guys. So anyways, I hope this message drills deep to you. If you're, if you're male, if you're single, if you're married, watch out, man. Watch out. These women out here in America got no respect. They got no royalties. Majority of them, and this is not, I'm making this shit up. You can pull up the statistics. 60% of people in America are divorced. This is because the women are not being groomed to be women. Women are groomed to be men today. Peace.